Uh, hey again, okay. I'm glad to see you just run away my ass. <laughs> nah, don't worry. It might be a little strange for me, but please keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I'm the first to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your promise. I hope this isn't too overwhelming commitment for you. Making you die of his thirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Hmm. <laughs> oh come on! <coughs> yeah. Oh come on! I can deserve a snack. You only had to be drunk. You only had to be drunk here for a month ago. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. If you don't take it seriously, you won't see the end of it. I'm not entirely sure I'll see the end of it as it is. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh, you're going to cheat like that, are you? Uh, Natsuki may certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps. Oh, sorry. Natsuki, you may certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps the manga collection in the club room. Mama, mama, mama! <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Did I manage to get all that? And that's going to use something every month. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to say Well, thank you. For that. Well, there's literature. Uh, swiftly defeated, Natsuki punches back into her seat. Alright, what's going to be next? I'm sorry, Lord Take. We'll make sure to put your comfort first. Okay. Yuri know, shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Hmm, <laughs> Okay, that's not that's not <laughs> Um anyway. Now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have an interest in picking up a book to read? Uh, right, oh yeah. Uh, Trace back, happy thoughts. Can you hear me? So, let's see next. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Okay. Right, just so we don't miss anything appearing there. Right, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I can't really say no either way. If I miss anything, it's because I'm trying to look at all the screen and read at the same time. Like you said, I'm in the club now. So it feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Oof. Well, I didn't mean it like that. You don't really want to remember to get a set anything, I guess. No, no, it's nothing like that, guy. I want to try to be a part of this club. Do I? I'm not so sure at this point. So even if I don't read often, I'll be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Are you sure? I just felt like... Well, as Vice President and all... That I should help you get started on something you might like. He only reaches into a bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. 
So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could. Yeah. Discuss it. If you want it. This is. How will. Is this girl accidentally being so cute? Yeah, it's like an event. She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. After I've taken it to a temple and had a priest to check it. Enthusiastically take the book. I can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Hmm. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to pick off some scheduled activities for the club. I expect something to kick off. That doesn't seem to be the case. Mary's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for his chance. Neil and Natsuki is rummaging around in a closet. I apologise for all the repeated content, but... At some point, there's going to be something that isn't repeated. Uh, there might just be a word difference, perhaps. I don't know. Yeah, yeah uh, I'm not going to skip forward and accidentally miss things or leave you out of track of where we are in the story. Because I'm not sure I know where we are in the story anymore. Not after everything that's happened. I hear there's some movement in the closet there. I hear Natsuki utter an exaggerated, exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs her hand. You looking for? Oh, sorry. <coughs> sorry, yeah. You looking for something in there? I don't think that's how you spell Monica. Monica. I don't think you should be taking it off the screen either. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of giving your collection to organize so someone else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes aside across the shelf. Oh, I know that that's nice. They censored it there. Freaking Monica, not fucking Monica. I'm glad that they made sure to include it in there. Corrected. Manga? You read manga, right? I uh, sometimes, maybe. Manga is one of those things where you don't you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out what the other person where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. You're an idiot. <laughs> so it's just kind of in on your face. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on one side of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box every one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the whole world. Yeah, mm. No, no, seeing it missing was a box with book two missing. So you've got just enough to get interested, and then, yeah, you can't carry on because you're going to miss something out before it carries on to the whole story. And at that point, you can see how long the story is, knowing how much you're going to be missing out on. 
I know that feel. Alright, get a closer look at the box that she's in my box that she's in my parfait girls. And it's a series I've never heard of in my life. Probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. I'm gonna judge and go do it from the through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Yeah, 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 I wasn't judging or anything. Daniel Seven. Where's the tone of your voice when you didn't say anything? I'll tell you one thing, Lord Dark King. Cause it Consider this a lesson in something or other. Don't judge a Don't judge a boo <laughs> Because there is a lesson straight from the literature book. From the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a book. <laughs> In fact, Natsuki pulls, pulls the phosphorus volume out of Parfait Girls and Books. Box. I'm going, I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah, ah. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. Is one of them going to get glitched out and get deleted from existence? That sounds like the cover to this game. It's exceeding. Oh, sorry, it's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there. Um. Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. <coughs> Knowing you're under there. Uh, she then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsill. Pats on the ground next to her, signaling, they're signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I'd take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. You can't read at the same time like that. No? What's that? I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Ho, 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 ho. Don't just say that. You make me feel weird about him. That's because her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect her to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I opened the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer with an additional space while well, she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometime after I've fully finished the series. Yeah. Unless you're particularly looking up something in particular. Why'd you go back three books when you could just continue? I mean, if you're reading through it all again, sure. Start from the beginning, read through. But just flicking backwards a couple of books? No. Hey, are you paying attention? Um, I am, but nothing's really happening yet, so I can talk at the same time. Looks about a bunch of friends in high school. Hmm. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Oh, that's just insulting. I'm not going to necessarily disagree. But. They have their own taste then, so to speak. And are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something that you like for someone else. Yeah, definitely is. Although I'm not entirely sure just about watching someone intently 
staring at them as I read a book, page, page, page. I mean, if you're reading a book with them, sure. But not just looking at them, that's kind of odd. I always get excited when I'm convincing my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. Know what I mean? Hmm? You know? Um, that's not what I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? She's trying to say she didn't have any friends. Don't you share your manga with your friends? It's like, don't you share your manga with your friends. You not rub it in. Jeez. Ah, sorry. Like I could never get any of my friends to read this. I just think manga is for kids. Why can't you bring it up rather than being all like, eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? Not to be able to punch them in the face of Ugh, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to be. To find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated to the. I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found us. Okay, what was that? I don't even know. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found us. Yep. Well, that was a nice bit of insight into her. At least it's safe in. I see if you're in the club room. Except Monica kind of a joke about it. Ugh! I just can't win, can I? Well, it's paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, yeah, I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of the problems. Maybe. At least you're... <coughs> At least you're enjoying yourself, right? So, <laughs> yeah, really don't think this solves any of the problems. Jeez, that's enough. You're gonna keep reading the what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half it, babe. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. Looks like she's started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? Suddenly Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey. Um. Don't think that was supposed to happen. Um. Are you saying something? No! You're not even saying something! You're really not even saying something. And that music is not helping. Oh jeez. Oh, yep. Completely messed up that text. Oh jeez. That's good. Are you okay? Yeah. Monica reaches into a bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in that's in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. He snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to keep me on the phone for all the She doesn't even finish the sen uh, sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Mm, don't worry about that, Kane. 
She is fine. It just happens every so happens every now and then. Mm, I'm betting it doesn't. <laughs> That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Um, yeah, let's start with Monica. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi, Lord Darkane. Having a good time so far? Thank you, Steam. Very well, fuck. Right. Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. No way, since you're new and everything. Do you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better? I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Are you sure? Last time I brought something up, it didn't end well. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off going with it slow until I'm more settled in. Anyway... Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing. No, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I'll have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Lord Darkin. I think guys. I'm a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we all learn to get past soon. And then we can all be lying in a kitchen of pile together. Yeah, that's true. Sorry. Uh, excuse me, I'll do that. Uh, I had more on my phone. Hmm. I like it, Lord Arcane. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. You tell me if it kind of makes me think of something that's you would write. And she's a good writer, too. Take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah. If you say so. Yep. <coughs> yeah. yeah. No, I got it. If you're interested. But yeah. If you're interested in Natsuki, I always keep a snap on you. What, what, what? You're jumping things about a bit? Need you like a puppy. Okay. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house. So she's in a fussy mood pretty often. Sometimes she just loses all strength and shuts down. Like earlier. Yes, you blame that on her dad. But I'm not disagreeing that the dad is clearly very cruel and not good. But I'm not sure he can be blamed for someone glitching out like a robot and changing what is said compared to what is actually shown if you understand what I mean 
this is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. You are looking into this a hell of a lot. Hey, some guys are into pink girls too now. What are you suggesting? Are you trying to set me up with her? When I have met her for one day? Sorry, I'm just trying to look for the bright side. You're trying to look at something, I'm not sure what. Anyway, I'm going to read my poem now. No? I'm sorry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident, so I'm going to not really very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. It doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Just what exactly is going to be on the poem? Well, let's read it, then. Oh, no, no, okay. Is it the same one as before? In the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see colour. Are there others in this room? Are you talking? Well, they simply poems on, a f on flat sheets of paper. The sound of frantic scrambling pain. On my ear. Sorry. The, s the sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ear. The room begins to crinkle. Is it in on me? The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure the first poem of hers last time was called, was called Hole in the Wall. But it wasn't that. It definitely wasn't that. So what do you think? Alright, well, nothing else is extra has popped up. Huh, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. <laughs> I keep thinking I see things moving. Right, so. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ha! <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. I think it's a little poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Like someone dying? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. 
you try so hard to make it perfect, and you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper, and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep the pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark type of ink. So just move your hand and go with the curve. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, so that's a relatively safe word for today. Did for today? Hmm. Alright, next. Yuri. Okay. Hmm. Yuri stares. Okay. Yuri stares at my phone. It passes more enough time for me for her to finish reading. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I'd start speaking. Um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. Let me know. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? No, it's actually about my third or fourth in this game. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll call it first. I draft. I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be. I guess it might. Be, you know, I guess that it might be after we go through it. Ah, so is that bad? No. I'll just raise my voice. Not really. You didn't give it the right emphasis for me to be raising voice for you. And I'm pretty pretty struggle to raise my voice for you. So sorry. But no. You didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries, buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't gotten anywhere. Might take Yuri while to get used to new people. It's fine, I didn't really notice. What were you saying? Right, then. Right, um. It's just their specific writing habits. Usually. They're usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on it. I think the most noticeable thing I recognise in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the top of the and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressive laughs are weakened. Once you're once Yuri finds the train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing out even a simple poem. It's not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most, most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the group gives you value and feedback. Natsuki, no, Natsuki can be a little biased. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. So, it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is opposing to herself, me or not so Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Really? Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Where they literally seem to have spent most of their time sitting, reading books. Of some variety or another. Oh, thank you so much. Right. 
coast in the night. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing me. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future. I bathe calm, breathing air. Yeah, I bathe calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. Yep, incredibly short. And um, perfectly the same, I think. I I'm sorry, I, I have such terrible handwriting. What? No, that's nothing at all. You took a long time to read. Sorry. Ah, um, well, I just don't write scripts very often. It's not script. Script would be unjoined. Like you find on a script. Joined up is either known as joined up or cursive, as you're in America. I'm assuming. Still. I actually don't think your handwriting... Uh, I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? That's a relief. <laughs> also, I like the poem. Even though it was short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Please don't. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, okay? Really? I must have totally missed the point. Yeah, you did. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it. But remember, the poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences to the world, to their inner work. We usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared with the ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, maybe to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you feel that it is. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll just have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Hey. That's good. Come on, crazy, 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 good at school. Okay, let's start with things I don't like. First of all, um... That's good, he reads my phone. Mm, never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. No, yeah, well, what's the point of sharing the poem in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poem? Did I? That's what I had in mind when I was writing this. You did? I had in mind a dead girl. That I was trying to make a poem for. I'm sure that's not the same thing. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Oh. Well, I'd be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. If you're supposed to show me some dumb poem and maybe go, Ha! Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what a real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy now. So, in other words, you're saying you like it? <laughs> That's good as a thought gets caught in her throat. Yeah, you're so... You just, you, 
doing this fucking thing, do you? I told you. You don't have to go in doing that to me the world like you're so awesome. I already told you. You don't have to go in and that to me the world like you're all so important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. That scheme must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or loss that she liked my brain. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Uh, fine, yes. I mean, because Monica will make me my own. Phew, that's about the same point. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. Yeah. I told you you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. I used to convince someone like it. Well... Because... Even in high school, things are working as we all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. Uh, isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make you your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. I mean, my poem was clearly better than yours, so you got disheartened by it. So I was kind of the inspiration for you to put it. No. I'm joking, that's not why I think it's like it. No. The other nice thing about Simple Writing Style is that it puts more, but more weight on the word play. Like, I said a rhyme at the end, but that made it for flair on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realised. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I'd say the humour her that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. I guess that's everyone, and nothing else went weird. That's around the room. That was a bit more stressful than I anticipated. Okay. I thought music was going funny again for a second. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my parents can sign up for this. This is, this is just a literature club. No. This is a literature club after all. I sighed. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Of course, I mean, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land in for There, no, my eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gently exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. That's Guy's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, yes, nothing. That's Guy dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. Oh god, this is going to go bad, isn't it? I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is... Cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feelings of giving up. How can this be called cute? I know that. I just meant... Language, I guess. I'm trying to say something nice. Yeah. 
mean you have to try it hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, we didn't really come up nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> well, look at the suggestions, all of us are actually like it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and your dog did it too. So based on that, I'd love you, I'd like to give you some suggestions of my own. Okay, calm down. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer. I spent a long time snapblushing my writing stuff. I don't expect to change in down soon. Of course. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. Lord Darkane liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? Yeah. That's not what I. Well, you're, you're just. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Lord Darkane appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? How do you know that he appreciates my advice more? Are you that fooling yourself? <laughs> no. As far as that, as far as fooling myself. I won't deliberately go out of my way to tell, make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh, well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs. I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Lord Darkane started showing up. <laughs> Natsuki. Um, <clears throat> Natsuki. That's a little. <laughs> this is a little bit. Taking out your own insecurities and others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be bitch? Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? See, that proves my point. Most people don't get out of themselves, but I think I don't need to go, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance the toxic personality just by dressing in, I think you. Anything I've refused to use, how hard you try? Oh, be careful, you might have to kick yourself in that egg theory. Oh, my bad. You're a dude, don't you? Did you, you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Not that not dark hate here, everything you really think. I'm sure you'll be head over here to you and see it. Ha Suddenly the only one floored me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Not that thing. So she should leave me with that. It's not true. She's standing. That's good. Um. I want to see what that said. I think you're saying lines of lines of how the fuck did it turn out that like this? What am I supposed to do? Who should I choose? Well, I seem to be pleasing Natsuki at the moment, so sure. Um Yes. Yeah. Um. Are you controlling my mouse? It seems to be moving. Hey, Lord Darkane. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Sorry about that. Right, what the fuck did it say? Uh, it's um. 
How can I have? How did I said? How did I get dragged into something like this? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course that's going to be... Yeah. I saw other words in there. If I remember right, I'll try and look through the recording to get a script of it, maybe. I don't know. I might just let it be a mystery. You can skip through, the, you can watch the video slowly, I'm sure you could do that. If you really want to know. But, uh, I'm sorry about that. I really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. Are you sure? Because by the sounds of it, one of them has a knife. I might just start a killing the other one. We'll go back inside once they are done yelling. And clean up the blood. <coughs> <laughs> Sam Preston, I am. Right. I can't even confront. I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. No. I'm sure you don't. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, and that's fine, I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they've done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't. I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to that scheme. Or did. Don't talk hate. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. Yeah, I'm... I'm pretty sure there has been since... Since there has been since we met. Something's changed from the past time. It's fine, Yuri. You know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Yeah. I'm kind of sure she will too. Completely. Of that I don't doubt. Anyway, the meeting's over. So you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You, you, you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'm waiting for you to be done. Well, I'm the vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. It's just I didn't get much chance. Well, didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with 
not talking. I would just be embarrassed. It would be embarrassing to be listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate your appreciate you understand. Understand? Alright. <sighs> okay, so season that's good. Hopeless fluffy together spinning all our stars. Flea nibble whistle heartbeat. Let's try a fluffy. Memories rainbow. Landscape entropy awesome baby. Bed amazing. Skipping anxiety awesome. Yeah. Let's try amazing next time see if it does the same thing. Any of them. Imagination, candy, waterfall, sunny, charm, death, jump, puppy, unquieted raindrops, puppy. Flower, fireflies, vitality, ring, cloud, universe, play, pain, lollipop, nature, sensation, lollipop. Heart, captive, infallible, desire, miseries, twirl, empty, breathe, disaster, melody, twirl. Okay. Cheer, passion, existence, milk. Contamination, faster, sing, jumpy, love, kawaii. Sadness, uncontrollable, not marriage, nightgown, cheeks, unending, family, joy, shiny. Ooh. Family? Yeah. Doing what was said about her father. No. Right, uh, wonderful intellectual vacation. Pink philosophy, disarray, email, journey, whirlwind, dark. Email? I want to say email, but I also want to make sure I get her. Oh, well, I can miss one, I guess. No, I got her in here. Right. Tenacious, cute, variance, incongruent, effluent. Effulgent, even. Vivid, suicide, hope, portrait, vertigo. Cute. Mega, starscape, covert, party, anger, mouse. Defeat, doki doki, blanket, heaven sent. Doki doki. Okie doki. Right. Melancholy, extraordinary. Lipstick pleasure. Lipstick pleasure, eh? Right. Massacre fun. Summer fantasy. Cloud's time! Yeah, fantasy. Marshmallow, warm, misfortune, kiss, electricity, ocean, beauty, crimson, lone, colour, marshmallow. Atone, strawberry, smile, hop, horror, fighting, lucky, games, sweets, analysis. How about we go for strawberry? Ooh, excitement climax. Whisper special. Prayer hurt. Valentine socks. <laughs> Dream clumsy. Um. Yeah. Valentine. Yeah, there we go. Uncanny, sugar, unstable, disowned, lust, shame, ribbon, agonizing, eternity, papa. There go, papa. Right. Shopping, embrace, promise, childhood, treasure, playground, holiday, bunny, precious, pure. Bunny. After image, disoriented, inferno, friends, judgment, kitty, loud, comfort, chocolate, vanilla, kitty. Laugh, forgive, essence, vivacious, flying, headphones, dazzle, music, romance, tears. Ooh. Flying? Hmm. Oh, you got one or two words left on 
Can I get a perfect? Bliss, fear, sunset, fickle, rose, sticky, broken, adventure, happiness, infinite. Oh. I'm not making it easy, are you? Adventure. There we go. Boop. Boop, peaceful. Tragedy, extreme, dance, bouncy, daydream, cry, destiny, skirt. Boop. Got to finish on a boop. Um. Okay, that's new. I I hate this. I can't do anything, nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It'd be really, really easy to kill myself right now. But that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. It'd be really, really. Anyway, what I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Ah, right, sorry. You missed that, didn't you? I was shocked. Yeah, so I hate this. Yeah, 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 I can't do this. Okay. I'm not actually sure I've seen that one before. Um, okay. Right. Perhaps I have. Perhaps I pushed it out of my memory. Who knows? Another day passes and it's time for club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past few days. A couple of days. Entering the club room, usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Lord Darkane. Ah, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. Um, what's going to happen to her expression? But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, Yuri glances over his shoulder, just looking around the room. Natsuki is reading a manga at the desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Oh, hang on. Sort that back out. Suddenly, so, Yuri really takes my arm and pulls me into the corner of the room. How about yesterday? I. I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Um, okay. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologised. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. We were just a little extra sensitive because it was the first time sharing products. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I'd already decided there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you didn't really mean it. Ah, it's okay. You say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. Okay. I'm really glad that you're an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is just a little bit brighter if you're around and... Ah! Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? <laughs> no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Nothing was happening here. Nothing. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, no, I haven't. Geez, this isn't like her at all. 
I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry me. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, that's key. About yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So. Yuri, what the hell are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Yeah. Please. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I mean, whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? What was that really? Oh, okay. That was what she said. Okay. I'll accept your apology anyway. It helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear it since I was always afraid you secretly hate me or something like that. <laughs> No, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird. I don't hate you either. Now the ski turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey. So many of those things open. I'm sorry. I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I just weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I mean, it's not like you were listening in and knew that we were worried about you. I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Ah. Well, my last period, I was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard better than at least. I must not. <clears throat> I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Yeah, piano. I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, <laughs> don't give me much more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while. I'm still not really good yet. <sighs> Excuse me whilst I have a quick... Switching voices tends to get my throat needing watering. Yeah. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Oh, thanks, Sherry. You still should, you should play something for some time. <coughs> well, that's, uh, Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song. It's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit, a bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, maybe I'll give you a private demonstration. I won't let you down, Lord Arkane. Monica smiles sweetly after smashing them all the way again. Ah, I didn't mean any version or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. With you. 
you by yourself. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck! Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did Not, not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us had talked about. Besides, not scared of you run off into the closet. Oh, Doc Hayne. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you me get the book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. Okay. Mm. Yep. Yeah. That's not changed in the slightest. It's exactly the same. Okay. 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 What's the story about anyway? Well. <clears throat> well. Mm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. Oh, it's that book. It's that book. Um, sorry, you'll find out out. You'll find out about it. Isn't it? There's an anonymous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, well, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. Um, yes. That is certainly a spoiler for something, or an advert for something. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book I mean, not the thing about limbs. That's kind, kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so the dark turn came from, came from nowhere. No. She said it was a short story. That would be easy to get into. She's made it clear that she is into dark type thing, dark, dark atmospheric type things. If anything, she's made it quite clear that it would be a dark story. Perhaps you should pay a little more attention to them. Hmm? Maybe you might notice things. Ah. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Lord Dark King? No, it's not that. I mean, I definitely... I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot you were into this. See? She had told you. See, she was... She's so shy and occlusive on the outside. Her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story... is kind of... It's kind of challenging you to look at life from a strange new perspective. 
when horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Okay, is it gonna stay the same? And suddenly, I'm rambling on there. Yep, still staying the same. Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Whenever I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. Now I want to see that one. Oh, you're gonna hide that one, aren't you? I can't forget to pay attention to other people. So if I end up saying something strange. Like you just did. Something about your body getting and getting urges. Um, yeah. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's. I really don't think you need to worry. I think I need to worry. You don't, I do. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, that's... well that's true. In fact, might as well get started reading it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Let me just go get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I put in my bag. Right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company for someone. I see. I'll just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Oh, alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand that what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly a, it's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realise that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's trying. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry. I was just bathing in the feeling of body heat. What? You know, you apologize a lot, don't you? I do? Okay, so it's gone from... Censoring what is what has been said... To just showing what has been said... To now showing it and then hiding it in the history... And hiding it from the history... Okay! I don't really mean to... Sorry. I mean... <laughs> yeah, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and hold my book much more... I hold my book more between the two of them. Ah... Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. 
I guess that makes it difficult to turn the page. Yeah. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Okay. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri's side and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. That's some impressive flicking power you've got there to be able to flip the page right over to her that easily. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Yeah? So mage. Ah, sorry. I think I got a little bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. That's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a little bit longer. <laughs> Sorry. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. You no longer ask me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own violation. Listen, we continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page, <coughs> turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb just needs letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. <laughs> no, I don't relate to this character at all. Don't say that. You're figuring out too much. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses the things she says and all that. Ah, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Not sure I want to know what the something else is. Whether it's something else or whether she means it literally about being herself. Something else? N never mind. <coughs> we didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Okay. I'm assuming that is a reference to the fact that Yuri seems to enjoy cutting herself. That although there is literally going to be a picture later on that is a picture of her in the book. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? <laughs> Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... Am I breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyways, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. 
He only stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Lord Arcane... Did something happen just now? No? I have no idea. You was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no. Not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing? <laughs> Don't worry. I believe you, silly. You only just do this sometimes. So it's like alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Uh -huh. Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while. Enjoying yourself. So I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and slip it back into my bag. Well, at least he's not cornering the page. Disgraceful people will call me back. Although I thought he could at least add something to use the bookmark. Alright, first up, Monica then. Hi again, Lord Darkane. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going to be bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Nah, I won't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote today? What, well, you've already grabbed it, haven't you? Sure, here you go. I gave my poem to Monica. What did you grab before then? Right, it's a great job, Lord Barkey. I was going oh in my head. What now? I was going oh in my head. I was going, oh in my head while reading it. It's awesome. It gets really metaphorical. Oh, metaphorical. I was going, oh, in my head while I was reading it. Wrong kind of O. So, there's so many different O's it could be. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. You didn't expect me to go deep, eh? I guess I underestimated you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you charm are you? It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, I'll, it, it always counts when I put some effort, put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Really? She wasn't jumping at all in the slightest. Are you sure you're reading the right poem? Writing is full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that that is a bad thing, though. Sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends too much time in her own head. It's probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. 
I don't think that she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for a lonely time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! What's that? Yuri! I'm back. Don't miss anything? Not really. Are you okay? You're looking a little flushed. A little out of breath. But we've all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Oh, Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my card now. But anyway... You want to read... Clear. You want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Uh. <sighs> oh no, it... Mm. I can already see now. Save me. The colors are spelled American, so it doesn't look right. They weren't. Bright, be expanded, piercing, red, green, blue, and the cacophony. The cacophony of endless noise. The noise came from STOP! Violent, grating, weirdness, screaming, screeching, piercing, sign, cosine, tangent! Lighting, I cheat the word on a neighbor, like using, like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage. This beam of a meaningless. Okay. That that that's different. That that that's very different. What happened to playing the vinyl on a what was it? A vinyl on a pizza. Wasn't it? Yes, a vinyl on a pizza. Hmm, okay. Okay. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. It's kind of missing bits as well. I'm just trying to, um... Oh, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip for the day. Oh, God, no. Sometimes you'll find yourself, find yourself facing a bit of a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Who's that? Um, I have no choice. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Um,
Okay. Okay. Where should I show my power to next? Yuri, let's get the crazies out of the way. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. This wasn't written for you. This has got nothing that you should want in it. I like just holding it. <laughs> I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, there are some things that you could work on. But that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> I came out a little awkward. Uh, let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, okay, it, it looks safe. Right, is it... No, it's not the same as last time. Wheel. Rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, paved, linear gearbox, falling sky. No, no way. It, it, it looks a little awkward now that I can see it a bit closer. Right. Seven holy stakes, a docked ship. Potential to another, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness powered by the gearbox, expanded universe, time controlled by skipping cockwheels, existence of a god, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning. Oh, nice! That stain seems to move as I move up the page, up and down the page. Interesting. Right. A prayer written in bread. Prayer written in time-devouring snakes with human eyes. A thread connecting all living human eyes. A kaleidoscope of human of holy snakes. Experiment. Experimental gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, forty gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks forty times every time it ticks for one second, a bolt head of holy states tied to the existence or a doctor's ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of forty gears, and open human eyes in all directions, breathing gearbox, breathing bolthead, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing smoke, snakes, breathing god, breathing blood, Breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on my pen. On my pen? What do you mean, my pen? Ah, but as I a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping and... Oh! I see what you mean now. Yes, okay. I, um... I just really like the way that it writes. Yes, writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. <laughs> okay. What did I just... We pretend this conversation never happened. You can keep the poem now. Okie dokie! Uh, 
all stained with something. Right. Is Natsuki going to be sane at all? Is she going to like the poem that was written for her, but everyone seems to think wasn't written for her? Despite the fact that I am clearly aiming for her in this run. Hmm, well, it's not terrible. It's pretty disappointing after your last. Are you fucking kidding me? Seriously, you enjoyed it. You were bouncing up and down as I was writing it. Again, if this one was not doing the last one, I'd completely kiss. <laughs> well, I guess I want to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. Fair enough, you're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in this club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed you were spending some time with you today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. It's just not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my phone. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Or not. Now, if I remember right from what I've seen in various places, that is possibly... Oh, what was it? Hexadecimal code? Or code, or code that can be converted into hex or something or other which then becomes an image. If run through the right programs or something or other. Um, I'm sure if you look it up on YouTube, you'll be able to see it. Or just on Google in general. Why don't you come with me today? I was waiting for you. You actually say this? Yes, yes, you are. I was waiting for a long time. That was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like me anymore? I think you better have not associated with her. Are you listening to me? There is a sick freak. It should be obvious by now. Just play with me instead. Okay? You don't hate me, do you know what I do? Do you hate me? Oh, your face isn't looking too great right this second. Do you want me to go home crying? If that is the only place I feel safe. Don't worry about it, Bobby. Don't worry. Please. No, no, no need to cry tears of blood. Just stop talking to you. Do you want me to I have. And a special poem, would you like to read it? Yes, okay. I, uh, I would click no, but I think that brings up another poem or something that would possibly. A joke. A man walked into a club. In their club there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day the girl realized she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the strip to derail. 
the universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. Which one? Are we talking about Sayori?